Hi, I'm Martin Ferreira, Austria Trade and Investment Commissioner based in Guangzhou, the capital city of Guangdong province. The Guangdong province is a leading economic powerhouse in China. It has remained the number one province in terms of GDP growth since 1989, reaching 2.35 billion Australian dollars last year. In 2020, the Guangdong province alone represented 22% of China's total imports and exports. The people-to-people -people links between South China and Australia are solid. In pre-pandemic times, Guangdong provided Australia with the highest numbers of Chinese international students. All straight South China operations cover Hunan, Wanji, Fujian and Hainan provinces in addition to Guangdong, a combined market of over 300 million consumers with a total GDP equivalent to countries like Canada or South Korea. South China includes two of the four tier one cities in China, Guangzhou and Shenzhen. While Guangzhou is considered the major international trade and transportation hub in South China, Shenzhen is often referred to as China's Silicon Valley, leading on China's tech developments. These two significant metropolises are an integral part of the Greater Bay Area, a region comprising nine cities in South China, plus Hong Kong and Macau, representing 11% of China's GDP in 2020. South China offers a wide range of trade opportunities for our goods and services exporters. The one job opera house behind me is a live example of Australia architectural and acoustic design services exports. As a significant import and export hub, Guangzhou has been the gateway for many Australian food products into mainland China. We are working with a range of exporters, from perishable products to packaged foods. In a recent promotional initiative in the city of Changsha, 25 Australian companies represented 40 brands seeking to expand to central China. Our live streaming reached over 30 million local audience demonstrating the strengths of Australian brands and commercial opportunities in the sector. With an aging population and record high government investment, there is a growing opportunity for Australian healthcare services, products and technologies to be introduced in South China. The Guangdong government has committed significant financial resources for building 50 high-level hospitals and five international medical centers by 2025. In addition, the Chinese government has recently released a new policy to fast-track imported medical products registration and the approval process within GBA cities. Here we are in Shenzhen. Shenzhen is a home to some 17,000 high-tech companies, including well-known ones like Tencent, Huawei, DJI, BYD, Vivo, and Oppo. Acknowledging the importance of conducting appropriate due diligence and risk management, Shenzhen can be an ideal place to turn an idea into a marketable product with its world-leading startup incubation and hardware development ecosystem here. Besides, Shenzhen's international patent generation is eight times that of China's average. Both Shenzhen and Guangzhou hold a very high percentage of privately owned enterprises here. They are among the most active outbound investors from China, and they have been an important source of productive FDI into Australia. We understand this is a tough time for business from a global pandemic disrupting supply chains to trade barriers impacting some Australian exports to China. Business should continue to make commercial decisions based on a thorough assessment of risk and opportunity and obtain professional advice when necessary. If you want to know more about South China, please reach out. We look forward to supporting you navigating challenges and winning business in South China. Thank you.